Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just quantum leaping thanks to all the available energy at the lunar eclipse and full moon in Aquarius on August 7th, 2017. The full moon will be on August 7th, 2017, and there will also be a lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse will happen 10 minutes after. So in LA time at 2.11 p.m. is when the full moon will occur, and 10 minutes later the lunar eclipse will occur. The eclipse happens when either the sun or the moon is near one of the nodes, and the nodes are a mathematical point of the moon. During this lunar eclipse, the full moon will be by the south node, so issues of our past lives or past experiences may come to the surface. Expect phone calls from people that you haven't heard from in a while, or maybe some group events. I'm going to be at Scare LA, which is a big convention in Los Angeles, all about Halloween because the harvest season is here and Halloween is just around the corner. So don't be surprised if you're surrounded by a lot of people during this weekend or this full moon. This particular full moon encourages us to detach from the ego. We have the sun and Mars and the north node all in Leo, posing the full moon in Aquarius. So we really are called to live from our heart and tune in to what makes us individual and really let that, letting that shine. The Sabian symbol for 15 Aquarius, which is where the full moon will be, is two lovebirds sitting on a fence singing happily. So as you can see, this is a very co-positive full moon. You could spend it alone, but this really isn't the time to do that. Go out with your friends or meet some new friends, go to a church, anywhere where you can be around a lot of people. Because Aquarius is all about the collective, where Leo is about ourselves and our heart. Aquarius is the other side of the axis, so we need to know how our individual selves fits into the group. With all this Aquarian energy and all the people from the past possibly being brought up by all of that South Node energy, you really want to take a step back and decide, are these friends really mine? There are also a lot of retrograde planets. We have Uranus, which just went retrograde on August 3rd, and during the time of this full moon, Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, and Chiron will also be retrograde. So that's a lot of retrograde energy. And retrograde doesn't mean bad or something to fear. It just means a time to step back. It looks like things are going backwards in the sky. It's a time to reflect, decide, are these people really my friends? Or not. There's a special aspect that will be taking place during this full moon which is actually active during the 1960s and that's a sextile between Neptune and Uranus. And Uranus is all about innovation, finding new ways of doing things, and Neptune is about unconditional love and music, art and inspiration. So when these two planets are sextile there's a lot of opportunity for new spiritual developments. Oh my god someone's got the jackhammer going. Very Uranus. Anyway, yes just like in the 1960s we can expect things like spiritual awakenings which have already been happening since 2012. This energy is very relevant to this time in our history. Now a yod or a finger of God is an aspect in the sky that's kind of like an isosceles triangle because you have two planets sextiling each other and those two planets are quincuxing one at the apex. So in this case Pluto and Neptune sextile each other while Neptune and Pluto quincux the sun. So this, like Pam Gregory said in her video, if you don't know who she is, she's like the best astrologer on YouTube. She mentioned this aspect as kind of like an opportunity for quantum leaping. And if you don't know what quantum jumping or quantum leaping is, I highly recommend you check that out because it can really catapult you into directions that you've been seeking on your spiritual journey. The last aspect I'm going to be speaking about, but it certainly isn't the most important aspect or the only other aspect because of course you have your own chart and planet placements to consider, but Jupiter will be squaring Pluto, and this is the last time this will be exact. It's been happening for a while now, and squares are very harsh, tension-filled aspects that want resolution. So Jupiter being in Libra and Pluto being in Capricorn, it's going to deal with power struggles and how that relates to the greater good and helping other people. Are you using your power to be over someone and take advantage, or are you helping everyone that you can? with what you have. So that's it for the astrological aspects of the particular full moon this year, but of course this full moon happens every year in August and the Native Americans would call it the sturgeon moon or the red full moon, corn moon, green corn moon, barley moon, names like that that have to do with this time of the year which is the start of the harvest. Other names are the fruit, herb, or wart moon. 
colors are dark green and yellow. Here's a selection of crystals that I picked out. Carnelian, emeralds, jade, moonstone, peridot, sardonyx, topaz, and tourmaline are all great options. And some magic spells that you want to work on would have to do with abundance, animal magic, prophecy, prosperity, and wisdom. Of course, this is pretty much the last of our summer full moon. Summer is pretty much over. Fall is right around the corner. So find your tribe, get your favorite crystals out, and enjoy the full green corn moon. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you did. Subscribe to Nick Folk TV and hit the bell button. If you want to know where this shirt is from, it's from a UK brand called Cyber Dog. Very bright and very fun. So check out Cyber Dog for awesome clothes like this. They'll be sure to inspire you into any Uranian fantasy that you may be having. And like I said, this is an awesome moon for quantum leaping. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you later.